What's up guys, it's Matt here. So lately I've been getting asked a lot about shipping. Help, I need help with shipping. I don't know what to do. Do I need to do calculated? Do I need to do flat rate? Well, today we're going to discuss that. And this tip will actually help to offer cheaper shipping rates for other buyers, which will actually help you to land more sales. Let's get to it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to search eBay shipping calculator on Google. Okay, usually you can just press the first link. All right, then it's gonna bring you to this page right here. You're just gonna scroll down and then just press this little link right here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an example on a larger package, what I'll do for calculating my shipping cost. So I just put my package in here and this is gonna show me what everything's gonna come up to be with my eBay discount. Normally when you sell an item, it's going to tell you what your eBay discount is and then you can save money on shipping. I'm going to show you how to find out that information first. That way we can actually offer a cheaper shipping rate. So put the dimensions in. I'm going to pick a large package size. We'll do 8 pounds, you know, 15 ounces. Okay. It's going to ask you for your zip code. So mine is... I'm in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, 57110. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find the furthest zip code from you. Mine is in Florida, 33101, the very tip of Florida. Okay, now I'm just going to press calculated shipping. It's going to bring me to this page right here. Here's my dimensions and everything. You can go back and change that if you like. Now this is going to show you for USPS, FedEx, and UPS what it will cost for in-store rates. So if you're doing your eBay listing and you select ground shipping USPS, calculated shipping, it's going to show the buyer $43.50. If you look at priority mail, it's going to charge the buyer $55. It's going to be around that price. It may be a little bit lower um, because this is the further de furthest destination from me. But what I found with calculated shipping, it's going to show a higher amount than what it really is. Some people make money off of this by they sell something and then that difference, they keep that. But it makes it really hard to sell things. So we can check eBay rates. It's going to be about the same on here. So priority shipping, you'll see your eBay rate is really going to be $46.40. So instead of putting uh, $55, you could put a flat rate $46.40 if you like. But this is how you get a cheaper rate. So let's look at, uh, you know, FedEx is one. So if you do regular ground shipping with FedEx with so Smart Post, it's $38.45 for this package. You know, they got some faster deliveries, but the price greatly increases. Well, if we look at our eBay rates, it's $30.48. Now, I found with bigger packages that UPS has the best rate. So UPS ground for a package this size would cost $35.97. So if you do calculated shipping, most likely the buyer is going to see close to around this price. And I found that those items are hard to sell. Now, if you get the eBay rates, look at that. $19.88, 44% decrease in the price. So this is what I do with larger, larger packages. Most likely I'm always using UPS, sometimes FedEx, but mostly always UPS. UPS is my go-to shipment on larger packages and they're just more convenient location to me as well. So instead of offering calculated shipping, I'll do a flat rate, $19.88 or I'll round it up to $20. And then I'm able to actually offer cheaper than calculated shipping. And in turn, I get more sales. I have a better price compared to the competition. So another example we can look at is, let's put in an envelope. And let's just say, I mean, I put in my dimensions of envelopes. I've heard it's not necessary from a lot of people. Um, I just personally do it. Let's say we're going to ship a shirt in an envelope and we are sending it first class, okay? So we're, let's say we're going to do 13 ounces 
All right, whenever I do first class, it's always USBS. So USBS, $3.40. Now, I have found that sometimes it's a little bit over this, but on calculated shipping, it may show you like up to $6. Now, if, if an item is like under five bucks, I normally just do the calculated shipping. If an item is, I'm selling it for a lot more and I don't have a lot into it, then I'll do like a flat rate, maybe $4 I'll round up to. Because if I do that calculated shipping, it's going to say almost $6. And if I can beat, you know, the competition by a couple of dollars, you know, I want to get that first sale. The eBay rates on stuff like that really doesn't make a difference on small items like that. Now, going to priority mail, it does. Priority mail would have been $9.10, but instead you could do a flat rate for $8.52. Now, you know, a lot of times you would want to use maybe like a bubble mailer or padded mailer or something like that um, for shirts or shirts that are over a pound. You can ship it USPS priority mail padded flat rate. You know, you get those for free from USPS. And then, uh, you know, you can charge a little bit cheaper rate on that as well. I normally just do the, the straight $8.55, so that's usually pretty standard. But that's pretty much how I do it. You know, with the UPS, it's going to be ground shipping for something that small is, only, is going to be $12.45. So you always want to go first class, but that's how you can offer cheaper shipping on first class as well. It's just you got to be careful with stuff like under $7 if you have too much money into it. Because sometimes this can be off a little bit and they can end up being like, you know, $4 or $4.50 really. But it will be a lot less than calculated shipping on a listing. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's pretty much how I do everything. I hope that that helps. Please stay tuned for more shipping tip videos. If you have any more questions or videos that you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I also have links down below as well for different supplies that I order, so make sure to check that out. All right, guys, take care. Happy thrifting. Peace.